welcome to another edition of Achievement College, my step-by-step -step guide to getting you that gamer score. This is Aussie Gamer 17, and this is another Xbox Game Pass achievement guide. This is going to be a 100% achievement guide, meaning I'm going to show you how to get all of the achievements, guys, in pretty much a single playthrough. Now, just a quick uh, few notes before we get started. There are three achievements for different endings of the game, but we don't have to replay the entire game. We just have to replay the last 20 minutes or so of the game three separate times, uh, but you can skip most of that. Well, you can't skip the dialogue, but you just go straight back to the end, play through the end to get the uh, other two endings after we've got the first one. Uh, there's going to be some missable achievements along the way, so I'm going to show you a good way to get all of those. Now, this game mainly consists of delivering mail and getting into conversations with people. During those conversations, we're going to have dialogue options. Most of the dialogue does not matter. You can choose whatever you like. So if I don't show it in this video, it means you choose whatever you like. I will show the dialogue choices that matter. That takes me to the actual layout of this video. I'm not playing through the entire game. This is not one of my 100% walkthroughs. This is just a game that you can play along at your own pace and I'll show you the steps that you need to take to make sure you get all the achievements and that's all that will be covered in this video. Hope that all makes sense. If you've got any questions, let me know in the comments down below, but let's get into it. I'm gonna play through the intro and the first day, this whole game is broken up into days. Um, day one will be the first of the month, day two, the second of the month, and so on, so it makes it easy. We're gonna play right through to game, uh, to day number two, and that's where we'll have to make our first decision that affects achievement. So I'll meet you guys at day number two. Okay, guys, here at the start of day two, Morning, September 2nd, Thank we're going to be having a conversation with Frank. And I'm just showing this to point out that the dialogue here in this conversation does not matter. So just skip through to the end of the conversation, choosing whatever you want to choose. And then once we're in control of the truck, we're going to go get our first missable achievement. Good morning, Frank. All right, shortly after that, or straight after that conversation, guys, we're going to gain control of our character, and we're going to go hop in the truck by pressing A. As soon as you hop in the truck, you're going to get access to the map for the first time. What you want to do is press RB to open up the map, and you want to find this little dirt road off to the right-hand side of where we're parked. This is the post office, where the mail truck starts. This is the main street icon. By the way, when you're trying to get around town and you uh, want to get back to somewhere you've been, you can use A to fast travel. That's going to help later when you want to do a lot of deliveries. But for now, we want to place a marker using the X button on this little square at the end of the dirt road. And now we're just going to drive up there by exiting out of the map by pressing RB and driving out of the post office. Try and use the road and the driveway. And then... Turn right out of the post office and then take the next right around this corner. And now we basically head straight towards the waypoint at this intersection. It'll look like grass, but you're just going to drive down this track here. And follow it around till you get to the top of the hill. See, it's more of a dirt uh, driveway now. And once you get to the top of the hill, that's all you have to do. That will get us the uh, missable achievement. Place. Let me see what it's called when it pops up. There it is. I've forgotten. Higher ground. That's the one. So grab that higher ground achievement. And what you want to do now is deliver all of the mail, guys. What I'm going to do, and you might want to do it too, is open up the map. And I'm going to fast travel back to Main Street. Deliver all the mail all around the map. And at the end of that, you're going to have to, once you've delivered all the mail, you want to go back to the post office to end your work day. Then you're going to get a couple of decisions to make during the evening of this particular day. Don't doesn't matter what you choose, choose whatever you want there and I'll join you guys back near the start of day 3. We need to make a specific delivery, so I'll meet you guys at that delivery on day 3. Okay guys, here we are in day 3 and now I've opened up the map and zoomed in on this area to the left. So here's Main Street just here and off to the left or to the west is this area here. There's going to be two other letters to, to, to deliver and then make the third stop this uh, address here, 200 Lake Road. You will have come here in day two, during day two as well. And it is the cat lady. So as I close the map and stop here at 200 Lake Road, get out and go and deliver the mail to the cat lady. She's going to ask us about taking oh, her cat dear. to the vet. So 
And when you get to the option, the first option, guys, make sure you choose the second option. We want to agree to take the cat with us. He's almost catato... Sorry. Heard it when I said it. <laughs> Please, Meredith, be a dear and take poor Mortimer to Mr. Mackey. He runs the bait shop by the lake. He'll know what to do. She'll then ask us to take the cat to Mr. Mackey at the bait shop. Make sure you choose the second option and agree to take the cat. This is the first step in an achievement we'll get much later on. Sure, I'll get right on it. Once you've got the cat on board, guys, what I'd like to do is fast travel back to Main Street, and then turn around and head south and then east and head down this road here. And we're making our way to bring Mortimer to Mr. Mackey. So if we close the map, I'm just heading down that road now. And we're going to go see Mr. Mackey and drop off the cat. Mr. Mackey will be part of a few different uh, achievements. So this will be our first time going to see him, but certainly not our last. Now we head down here, we get out. We're going to automatically have the cat in our hand and we need to go and find uh, Mr. Mackey. Gonna head straight out across and to the left hand side of the building here. Up the stairs and we'll find him out the back here having a fish. Mr. Mackey, I know you're closed, but why? Okay, and it doesn't matter which dialogue options you choose there, guys. He'll uh, take the cat off your hands. And that is gonna be it for our day three during the workday. What you wanna do from here is just make sure you do deliver the rest of the mail and the packages. And once you've done that, finish your work day back at the post office. And we've got to do something during the evening. So I'll meet you guys during the evening here in day three and tell you which options we need to choose after our work day. Okay, guys, in evening number three, you're going to be on a phone call with Steve and he's going to ask you if you've got plenty of time. He's actually going to ask us a few questions and we just need to choose the first option three times in a row. We need to make sure that we agree to help Steve for a, another sort of ongoing achievement that we'll get throughout the playthrough. And I'll show you once again, which options to make and what things you need to do. But the start is to answer yes or answer the option one for these first three questions. Yeah, there's not much to do around here. Awesome. And the second one. <laughs> nice one, Steve. When will the files arrive and when do you by second one just then I meant answer the first option to the second question and then the third question we say yep again. Yep, can't miss. Awesome. Now after the phone call with Steve guys and answering the first option to all three questions and agreeing to help Steve we'll be given a choice of what to do for the rest of our evening. Now I have no idea, I haven't been able to find out if this actually counts but I've done this in my practice run. And that is I chose to stay home and watch the movie that we got off Angie. Angie's the girl that you delivered a parcel to at the video store, whatever you want to call that. We call it a video shop here in Australia. But anyway, Angie gave us the movie The Postman Always Rings Twice. We're going to watch that movie just in case it counts, guys. And that'll end day three. I'll uh, meet you guys at the start of day four because we're going to go back to the bait shop and pick up the cat. But that's where I'll skip the video to. Let's do it. Okay guys, here we are at the start of day four. We're gonna go around and do the deliveries, but before we do that, we are gonna go and pick up Mr. Mortimer, or Mortimer at Mr. Mackey. So back down to the bait shop. That's where we are arriving just now. We're gonna park again at the bait shop and go and pick up the cat. If I could remember where he gets left. So let's just hop out. All right, hopefully he's got the cat. How's okay, choose whatever you want with the dialogue option with Mr. Mackey and you'll end up with the cat. I'm not gonna uh, play the whole video here. I'm gonna cut to where we go and take it back to Mrs. Mildred. She is of course over to the west, but I'll meet you guys there. Okay guys, here we are over to the west and we're returning Mortimer to Miss Jenkins or to the cat lady. I'm just uh, arriving here and we're gonna Jump out and return the cat. And don't worry what you choose in any dialogue if there are any options. I can't Look even who's remember. Back. Okay, with the cat dropped off, we get the cat lover achievement for 100 gamer score. 
let's keep the achievements rolling in and open up the map, guys. We're going to fast travel down to the, the woods area. Uh, it's called like bear something on the map there. Either way, you should have unlocked that but when we uh, did a delivery on one of the earlier days. So fast travel down to the woods. And once you arrive here at the woods, open up your map again. And what you want to do is place a waypoint right about there. So use... Oh, it's not letting me place waypoints. Okay, we're going to place one nowhere. Okay, we're just going to find this road here. I was only going to place the waypoint to try and help you guys. And what we're going to do is we're going to follow this dirt road all the way up there. Let's do it. Figured I'd show this in the video because this is a missable achievement, guys. Uh, but while we're just following this little road, so take this left and follow the road all the way up and around. Take the opportunity to say thank you to all my members and patrons. You guys are absolute bloody legends. I love nothing more than waking up and checking my notifications and seeing a new uh, YouTube member or new patron because, guys, that is what makes it possible for me to make these videos. Uh, yeah, if you don't know my story, uh, come and message me over on Discord. But yeah, it's uh, been a tough couple of years, but really, really enjoying making these guides for all you guys and really appreciate all the support. So if you're a member or a patron, special thank you to you. And if you're just watching this video, special thank you to you. Not everyone can support by being a member or a patron. And I do appreciate all the support I get here on the channel, guys. Okay, so making our way up the top of the hill. We find ourselves at a watchtower. Drive up to the watchtower, get out of the truck, and then go all the way up all the stairs as well. And when we reach the top, we're going to get another missable achievement. I think all the achievements are 100 gamer score, aren't they? There we go. Still a rare achievement. Tower Watcher. Just for climbing to the top of the tower. Now, the next thing we're going to show in the video is when we deliver a parcel back to Angie at the video store. So, I will meet you guys there. Pardon the interruption, guys, but I just wanted to let you know that it takes a hell of a lot of work to make these guides and walkthroughs that I make on my channel. I need all the support I can get from you bloody legends out there. So, please hit the join button to become a member of my YouTube channel, or you can join my Patreon by going to patreon.com forward slash AussieGamer17. Thanks for the help, you bloody legends. Okay, guys, actually, just before you do go see an Angie, you might find yourself delivering mail to this lumberjack guy. I think his name is Robert or Mr. Harris. Uh, he's going to ask you to help him with something. If you want to save a bit of time, you just say good luck with that. Uh, there's nothing that will affect achievements here. I just wanted to let you guys know that you could say no to save yourself some time and skip some of the story if you are just hunting down those achievements. Good luck with that. All right, guys, we're going to deliver a parcel here to Angie, as I said. And when we get here, uh, this first question, we need to answer the first option, not about mail delivery at all. Not about mail delivery at all. Then at this option, we need to check, uh, we need to pick yes, she's great in it. Yeah, she's great in it. And then we're going to say you're selling them short. You're selling them short. And then we're going to say the first option yet again, keep feeding my VCR and I'll be up to speed in no time. Well... Keep feeding my VCR and I'll be up to Then we're going to say, that's nice to hear. That's nice to hear. Then we're going to select the first option again. Ooh, we're whispering now. Oh, we're whispering now? And then say, what, like a date? What, like a date? And when she asks if we're in, guys, this is really, really important. For the first time, we're going to choose the second option, all right, I'm in. Really, really important for achievements, okay? So select all right, I'm in. All right, I'm in. And then we're going to choose the first option yet again. Inviting yourself over. And finally, we're going to choose the second option once again, oh well. So very important, guys. Choose oh well. Oh well. Okay, and once we've done that, guys, we're going to deliver the rest of the mail and end the work day. And in the evening, we will be seeing Angie and we'll go through some other options during the evening. So I'll skip ahead to the evening once we've finished the work day. Okay, guys, and when you do get up to this chat in the evening with Angie, I've gone ahead and saved you some time and some trouble. All you need to do is you don't need to watch the rest of the answers because all you need to do is choose the first option every time uh, that we have the choice here while talking to Angie. And then I'm going to skip ahead to where we have a choice on what to do with the rest of our day. That's also important. 
I contain multitudes. Okay, so after speaking with Angie, you'll also get a phone call from your dad. It doesn't matter what dialogue choices you choose there. But when we get to this choice, this does matter. This is to do with helping out Steve for that achievement we started earlier. So we have to choose work on the Adit 87 material. Once I click this, that will end day four. I'll meet you guys on day five. And the first delivery we're going to do is Nancy at the general store. So I will meet you guys there in just a sec. So here we are guys at the very start of day five. The post office is just over there. And just across from that is the general store. I'll uh, open up the map, show you where we are actually. Right there, just uh, north of the main street icon. We are going to be delivering a parcel into the general store. And when we get certain dialogue options, we're gonna have to choose to uh, take a camera from Nancy here. First answer does not matter what you press. Isn't yellow the color of fun? Uh, then for this uh, second answer, guys, we're gonna say that we love photography. That's pretty nice, actually. I love photography. And then we're gonna select, well, photography can be just for fun too, right? Well, photography. And then we're gonna say that we'd love to take pictures. Really? I'd love to take pictures. Okay, and once we've finished talking to Nancy, we've got the camera, we're gonna walk outside and we're just gonna press Y to take out the camera and press A to take a photo. And we're gonna do 12 photos, guys. So I'll just speed up the video, but just take all 12 photos of absolutely anything, it does not matter. Okay, once you've taken all the photos, we can get on with our day. I'm going to meet you guys at Laurie. We've got to drop the movie box off to Laurie, but you can do a few deliveries on the way if you like. All right, guys, here we are down in the uh, sort of the west of Main Street, down at the, what's it called, the service station. This is where Laurie works. The mechanic, we have to deliver the movie box to Laurie. So I'm just sort of approaching it here. None of the dialogue matters. You'll just, uh, once you go through it all with her, she will... Uh, receive the movie box so just make I sure you do that bring the package and make sure you bring the package with you do we have to get it out of the back do we ah oh, there we go there it is the movie package so make sure you get the movie package out of the back deliver it to lorry uh, and this is important for an achievement uh that we grab a little bit later Okay, guys, just play through the game a little bit further. You're going to have to do a delivery out to the diner. After doing the delivery at the diner, you're going to find this place called the East Crossroads, and you'll have a delivery out at somewhere called Reynolds Farm. That's where we find ourselves right now. So if I get out of the map here, and we find this little dirt road that leads up to the farm, always somewhere on one side of this road, there's going to be this man in the field with the metal detector. He might not be right there for you. He might be closer up to the farm or he might be on the other side. But you just need to find the man in the field. And when you do find him, we need to approach him and have a chat to him for a missable achievement. It's as simple as that. Doesn't matter what you say to him. Um, and doesn't matter what happens here. You'll get the achievement as long as you chat to him. Hi there. Sorry, pardon you? Hi it was nice to meet you too. Good luck. And there we go, guys. After that chat with him, you'll get the metal detector achievement. Now, guys, now you can play through the rest of day five. Uh, that means completing all the deliveries, uh, finishing the work day, and also going through anything you want to do in the evening. Doesn't matter what you choose, won't affect any achievements. And then at the start of day six, you'll be having a chat with Frank. I'll meet you guys there because that's where we've got to make the next choice that does actually matter. So I'll see you guys at the beginning of day six with the talk to Frank. Okay, and here we are right at the start of day six. We're in this conversation with Frank. He's just asked us if we think we can find the uh, partial address and we have to select, yeah, I think I know where that is. So make sure you select that for this conversation. Yeah. I think I know where that is. Okay, after finishing your chat with Frank at the post office over there, head across the road and go into the general store. We need to see Nancy and return the camera and film to her. So have a chat to her, give her back the camera. Don't worry about any of the dialogue options. It'll all work out. Okay, guys, from there, what you want to do is head to the service station off to the west again. And we want to go and see Laurie and we want to get the movie box back off her. So I'm gonna get out of the uh, truck and we're gonna go talk to Laurie. 
grab the movie box from her, and then continue hey, on. Did you watch the love bug? Okay, after uh, getting the movie box back off Laurie, we've got to return to the Flick Shack here in Main Street. Uh, we're just sort of up the road from the post office. Hopefully you know by now where the Flick Shack is, or the movie store, video shop, as we call it here in Australia. Head inside and talk to Angie, and just make sure you choose the first option for all of her dialogue choices. I'm not going to go through them all, but just choose the first option. She'll end up giving you a the movie box back to go and give it to Mr. Mackey at the bait shop. And I'll uh, meet you guys there. We'll go and give it to Mr. Mackey after we've chatted to Angie. Hi, Angie. Okay, guys, and here we are at the bait shop. I'll just show you on the map. We are just down to the southeast of the main street here at the bait shop where we have to deliver the movie box to Bert, or Mr. Mackey as we call him. And once you've done that, guys, what you want to do is just go on with the rest of your day, deliver all the mail, finish the work day. In the evening, you're going to get asked something uh, to do with Kay. Uh, if you want to say no, you'll save a bit of time. You can say yes, it won't affect achievements. But if you want to save time, just say no to the uh, meetup with Kay. And then I'll meet you guys um, in day seven, we'll, uh, which is the weekend, I believe. We won't be working. We will be... Uh, Talking to Steve though on the phone and we do need to do something there. So I'll meet you guys on day seven with some dialogue choices there. But before we can do that, yeah, do make sure you deliver the video box to Mr. Mackey over here on the right hand side of the boat. Mr. Mackey, I've got this movie box for you. Okay, I think I may have said evening guys, but it's actually Sunday afternoon, I believe the game tells us it is. And we get this phone call from Steve. We're going to say, hey, Steve, you're in a good mood. Hey, Steve, you're in a good mood. Meredith. And then we're going to say, calm down, Steve. Calm down, Steve. Okay. Well, okay, and then we're going to say, what? That's millions of dollars. What? Yum, yum, yum. That's millions of dollars of revenue. Okay. And here's the um, important part, guys. You've got to say, gotcha, Steve. Don't worry about it. We've got to agree to help Steve for an achievement later on. Gotcha, Steve. Okay, now play through the rest of the game until you get to the part where you're in control again of doing deliveries. But before we go do any deliveries, we're going to go to the general store again and see Nancy. She should have developed the film and will pick up an achievement for uh, completing our photography quest. I managed to get... All right, doesn't matter what you choose, but at the end of the conversation with Nancy, we'll get the Shutterbug achievement. And now we're going to go and see Mr. Mackey. Okay, yeah, after dealing with Nancy and grabbing that achievement for the photographs, make sure you head down to the bait shop. We need to grab the movie box off uh, Mr. Mackey. He's uh, around the back where he was uh, for our original visits to him. So we'll just head up these stairs, grab that off him. And then I'll meet you guys back at Angie. We need to go back to the video store and speak to Angie. Hi there, Meredith. And like I said, after we get the movie box off Mr. Mackey, head back to the Flick Shack, head inside, chat to Angie, just select the first option to answer all of her questions, with the final one being hey, super important. Your movie box back. Okay, and when you get to this final option, guys. Uh, it is the first option still. So first option uh, in all the dialogue choices here with Angie and make sure you say, I'd love to, I'm in. I'd love to, I'm in. And with that answer selected, guys, you are going to get the uh, movie helper achievement for helping Angie with the movie box delivery. So a bit of a long drawn out achievement. But if you've been following the video, you'll grab that achievement there. Okay, guys, what you want to do is continue on doing your deliveries throughout the rest of that day until you get to the campground down here in the southeast. You uh, drive south of the east crossroads and you'll uh, take this little turn and come across the campground. So you would have done a delivery here in the previous day of deliveries. And this will be our second visit to the campground. Uh, I forget their name, June and something else. Mickey and June, I think it is. We're going to go and deliver them a letter, but we're going to get some dialogue options that are very, very important, guys. So head over to the campground, and what you want to do is you choose the first dialogue option until they invite you to the campfire, then we need to select the second dialogue. So just select all the first dialogue options until invited to the campfire, and I'll tell you, I'll show you which oh, sweet, option we need to choose Hi then. There. Here's the mail. Thanks. Okay, so you'll uh, go through a heap of dialogue with June, and eventually she'll talk about a uh, meet-up on, I think it's Wednesday night. 
So make sure you choose, oh cool, yeah, why not, when you get up to this dialogue option. Oh, cool. Yeah, why not? Okay, after uh, accepting June's invite, guys, what you want to do here on day eight is just deliver the rest of the mail. Then you want to end the work day. There's nothing that can affect anything happening in the evening. So go through any evening choices that come up. On day nine, we just need to deliver all the mail. No dialogue options matter there. So deliver all the mail on day nine. In the evening of day nine, we're going to have to do some work for Steve. That'll finally get us that achievement. So I'm going to meet you guys in the evening of day nine. So just play through the game until you get up to there and I'll show you what choice we make in just a second. Okay, and here we are at uh, day nine in the evening. We've got a phone call from Steve and we're to telling we're gonna tell him that we'll look at those contracts tonight. I'll look at them tonight. And then just after the phone call, guys, we'll be given the option of what to do with our evening. Make sure we review Steve's contracts and this will finally get us the achievement. Let's do it. And that's the achievement popping right there at the Good start morning, of day 10. What we can do now, guys, is we can go through this conversation. Doesn't matter what you choose in talking to this guy. And then we're going to deliver the mail and we're going to uh, end our workday. So the workday, nothing changes. You can just go through the workday like normal. And then at the end of day 10 in the evening, we're going to be at the campfire where some of our decisions definitely matter. So I'll meet you guys at the campfire with those campers. All right, and here we are, guys, at the campfire at the end of day 10. Now, I forgot to mention earlier, we had to get invited to this campfire as a part of our first ending that we're going for. And spoiler alert, the first ending we're going for it has us leaving uh, Providence Oaks in the RV. So we had to get invited to this campfire. That was the start of it. And then we have to accept the RV with this question right here. They just asked if we want the RV when these two head off to Canada. So we need to choose the right choice here. Now, this is the only really long drawn out ending and that's why we're doing it first. Leaving in the RV starts sort of back when we accepted the invite to the campfire. But don't worry, the other two endings that we need to get, we don't have to come back this far into the game and do all this again. When we get to the end of this ending, we get past the credits, we just click continue at the main menu and replay the last bit of the game. So don't worry too much. And uh, here we have to say, yes, really guys, that's awesome. Really guys? That's awesome. Now All right guys, that is gonna put us, uh, after the campfire, we're gonna end up here in day 11. What you wanna do is go and deliver all the mail, but at some point you're gonna head down to Lori. She is down at the gas station somewhere about there. We have to deliver a parcel there anyway. She is going to ask if she can have the RV. We've got to make sure we do not give the RV to Laurie. So I'll, I'll skip to that in just a second. You're also going to go see uh, Mildred. She's going to ask you for some sort of favor. I can't remember what it is. You can refuse that if you want to save time. Doing it or not doing does not affect achievements. But definitely the questions with Laurie do. So I'll skip ahead to there now. So here we are. We're going to deliver a parcel to Laurie. Murder. And when you get up to this answer here, guys, it is the first uh, time you get to choose dialogue here in the conversation with Laurie. Make sure you don't say, do not say, you can have it if you want. Make sure you choose, I don't know, could stay here for a while. I don't know what I want yet. Okay, after making sure we do not give the RV to Laurie, we're going to play through the game all the way through the rest of day 11, all the way through day 12, all the way through day 13. And when we get to day 14 here, you're going to be at the open mic night at Moe's Diner. You're going to chat to a few of the other residents and eventually you'll be in this conversation with Angie. And the only reason I'm pointing this out, uh, we are very, very close to our first ending. But with this conversation, we also need to make sure that we don't give the RV to Angie for our first ending. So for now, you just choose all the first options here with Angie. Oh, that's a real bummer. And then when you get to that question there, guys, where Angie says, I'd love a free RV, make sure you don't say, you know what, it's yours. Do not give it to Angie if you're going for the ending that we're going for. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. After that, guys, you can just go through the dialogue doing whatever choices you would like. And I'll meet you guys on day 15 where we have some dialogue options to get our first ending. And here we are on the morning of day 15. We're stuck in a conversation here with Frank. 
and we need to make the right or make the right choices in order to get the ending that we've been going for. So we're going to go with option one. You're a gambling addict beyond salvation. And then we're going to say, but no, I'm taking it off and we'll leave town. Option one once again. But no, I'm taking it off. I'm and then we have to say, we are going back to my, no, wait, we're going on a road trip. I nearly said the wrong one. I was reading my notes there. We're going on a road trip. So option number two. Well, actually, I'm... Uh... This, guys, is going to get us uh, well, ending number one. I guess this is goodbye. Once you've got that, guys, and you go to the credits, you can skip the credits, go to the main menu, press continue, and we're going to come back to this very chat here with Frank. Not this one, the one we just did with Frank. And we're going to make some different choices to get the other two endings. I'll skip ahead to there, but grab your achievements along the way. All right, guys, here we are back at our Monday morning talk with Frank for the second time. And I bet you you're wishing we could skip dialogue in this game because I know I am. Uh, but anyway, here we are, and this time we can just, uh, once again, the first option does not matter. We're going to choose that. Salvation. <laughs> and then when we get to this option, we are going to say, but no, I'm taking it off and I will be leaving town. But no, I'm taking it off. And when we get to this question, guys, this time we're not going on a road trip. We're going back to our job in the big city, and this will get us ending too. Once I click this, you've just got to play through to the credits, get your achievement, and then once again, when you get to the main menu, hit continue and get right back to this chat. So I'll join you guys when we see Frank yet again. Back to my home, my job, and my life in the big city. So I get And with the power of magical editing, guys, in just a second, I'm right back here at this chat with Frank, and boy, do I wish that was true, but I know I had to play through all that again to get back up to here. And obviously the first one, again, does not matter what we choose. And finally we get to say, and yes, I want to wear it a bit longer. And yes, I want to wear it a bit longer. Fantastic. And guys, that is going to get us the final ending and the final achievement. So I want to say thank you very, very much for watching. Let's uh, watch the end of this cutscene, but I wanted to say thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, uh, make sure you give us a thumbs up, post a comment, and subscribe. If you can support me on Patreon or by becoming a member here on YouTube, a big yum, yum, yum to you and thank you very much. All right, let's uh, choose anything you want here and let's uh, get that final achievement and I'll catch you guys. Oh, wait, I've got to wait for the bell, don't, don't I? I can't say see you later. All right, let's uh, watch this. If you get in a predicament with Walter Morgan again, you're on your own. Ha, you got it. I'll have Morgan for breakfast. Now, let's get to the... And there it is. Not the bell, but the final achievement. We're staying in Providence Oaks for the final ending. I've got to cut it there, guys. Because there's the bell. And you know what that means. Class dismissed.